We've talked a lot about what to do as it comes to making the retirement decision. But one of the things we haven't talked a lot about are some steps to ensure a smooth transition. So today, what I'd like to talk about are 12 steps that help you count down to a smooth transition to retirement. Uh, but before we get into this, I ask that if you like this video, you find it useful in any way, please subscribe to the channel, like to the, the channel, so we can ensure that we continue to get content out to people that may need it. Um, so let's get into it. So number one, set a retirement date. Determine the exact date you plan to retire, and this really get, serves as your target date to work towards. So it gives you something to go specifically to work against. Uh, number two, assess your finances. Review your financial situation, including your retirement out, uh, accounts, your savings, your investments, your pension plans, and make sure you have a clear understanding of your financial needs in retirement. Uh, number three, create a budget. Develop a comprehensive budget for your retirement uh, that accounts for your expected expenses and income sources. This will help you determine if you're on track financially. And I don't recommend that you use your budget to dictate all of your spending, but it gives you a measuring stick to understand how well you're performing during your retirement because those expenses will change from time to time. And sometimes you may eat out more and sometimes less, but it gives you an overall uh, measuring stick of, of how you're performing financially during the retirement. Uh, maximize your retirement savings. If you're eligible, make your catch-up contributions to your retirement accounts, or if you're not uh, contributing the maximum, make additional contributions to your rec uh, retirement accounts. Um, consider consulting a financial advisor for personalized advice. There are a host of different accounts that you can save for in retirement or that you can use to save uh, into in retirement. So talk to a financial advisor. They will be fundamental in helping you to maximize which accounts to use. Uh, healthcare planning, investigate your healthcare options post-retirement, including Medicare, supplemental insurance. Uh, you could look at the Affordable Care Act exchanges, but you, it's critical to understand how your coverage will change and what additional costs you may incur. Um, pay off your debt. Aim to pay off high interest debt before retirement to reduce your financial stress. This includes credit card debts, loans, and mortgages. While it's not always possible to pay off all of your debts or mortgages or car payments, try to pay off as much as you can and make sure that those mortgages or any other loans that you do continue to have, you account for in your retirement budget. Uh, review your social security. This, first, I think you need to decide when you wanna start claiming social security benefits uh, because delaying your social security benefits uh, they increase your monthly benefits. So, and there are a host of different perspectives on when to take your social security benefits. And again, I recommend consulting a financial advisor to help you make that decision. Uh, and you can find your specific social security benefit calculation at the social security website. I check mine regularly just to make sure I have a strong understanding of what my potential social security uh, payout will be. Uh, then start working on transitioning your work at uh, responsibilities. If possible, start gradually reducing your workload uh, and transitioning your responsibilities to your colleagues. This can help ease the transition into retirement and ensure a smoother handover, reduces the stress, and makes things easier overall. Uh, start looking at hobbies and interests that you might be interested in pursuing in retirement, whether it's travel, different hobbies, volunteering, or just spending time with family. Having a strong idea of what those are before you retire will help make that transition easier when you actually get into retirement. Um, don't underestimate, number 10, do not underestimate the importance of emotional preparation. It's important to mentally prepare for your transition to retirement. This is a huge change and one of the largest changes or biggest changes that a person is going to make in their lives. So start to think about how you adjust your routine, make changes, how your social interactions will change, what you want your identity to be once you get outside of work. Uh, but again, you don't want to be surprised and 
this will help you understand, at least start to think about so you're ready when, when the time comes. Number 11, uh, legal and estate planning. Look at your estate plan, your wills, your trusts, your powers of attorney, advanced health care directives, and all of those different types of things, just to make sure that all your affairs are in order and that your, your wishes are clearly documented. And lastly, seek guidance. Uh, consider consulting with a financial planner or retirement specialist to ensure you're covered all bases and are fully prepared for your retirement. You would hate to get two years, three years into retirement and get hit with taxes that were uh, that you didn't plan for or additional costs or not budgeting for things or getting hit with issues like inflation. So, uh, so these are 12 steps that will help you count down to a smooth transition in retirement. And as always, if there are any questions or there are additional items that you think would be helpful for others, please leave those down in the comments and so others can benefit from your comments. And uh, I think that's about it for today. Uh, but I do ask that you please like the channel, subscribe the channel so we can continue to make sure that we get this content out to people that are going to find it helpful. So thanks again. Have a good rest of your day.